What's going on everybody? It's the Coffee King here and today I want to give a big shout out to Crazy Cups for letting me join their contest. Now I'm going to be doing this with my wife. She's right over here. She's going over everything that we're going to be doing. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Anyways, here's the box that they sent me for the hot chocolate bomb maker do-it-yourself kit. And this is for the contest that we're going to be entering. So big shout out to you guys. Let's go ahead and get this started. Make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon once for me, like the videos, comment on them, and share them on the other social media platforms. It's greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm gonna do an unboxing here, guys. Once again, big shout out to Crazy Cups here. And right off the top, we got Party Confetti. I think these are just like the sprinkles that you can use. We got three packs of those. We got festive sprinkles, which honestly, that's probably one I'm gonna be using. And then we got the pink chocolate drizzle. Ooh. So, yes. Um, we got the Total Indulgence Classic Milk Chocolate which is like, I'm guessing the mix. We actually got two of those, actually three, <laughs> four. We got four of those, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm sure one of those packs are gonna do something. I guess I'm gonna do one whole bomb. Yeah, so we got three packs, four packs of the classic milk chocolate mix. Then we got some mini marshmallows. Right here. Mini marshmallows. This we're going to melt down. Melting milk chocolate. There that is. And then we have a spoon to help us with the molding so we can, you know, scoop it out. Then we got the molds right here with the spoon. And the spoon matches it. It's pretty cool. And then we have the sticks, correct? So stirring we can. Sticks. Yeah. Stirring sticks. That is what is included in this box. So um, we're gonna go ahead, like I said before, jump into this. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead, open up the melting milk chocolate here, as much as I can. Go ahead and try to open that, there it is, you guys can see. A little melting milk chocolate discs in there. Go ahead and hand that to the wife so she can melt those down for us real quick. Real quick, I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in on the melting here. All right, guys, so as of right now, we're going to um, go ahead and melt down this chocolate now. I thought I'd be able to get a uh, zoom in on it, but it's in a microwave, so we got to melt it down. Um, but we're only going to be doing three of them. We're not going to be doing like a crazy amount, anything like that, because they do send you quite a bit to make probably like six or eight of them, but, or more possibly, but we're going to go ahead and just do three of these and see where we see what we get with it. Anyways, guys. This is the first time ever doing any type of contest on here from any coffee company whatsoever. So this is a new experience for me as much as it is for my wife because she's really never in these videos with me, but we've never really done a contest like this before on this channel. So I'm pretty excited. I'm ready to get into it. 
All right, so we just got out of the microwave. Spread the love. It's half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon. This is half a tablespoon. Okay. That's what I'm half a tablespoon in each mold. Melted chocolate in each of the molds. Using the back of the spoon, coat a thin layer of chocolate along the inside of each mold to the top row. Ensure the chocolate is thick enough. Keep underneath chocolate to help seal Okay, so pretty much. Just putting a half a tablespoon of each chocolate, I mean, of the chocolate in each mold, you know, using the back of the spoon to even it out. And after that, we gotta wait for them to get solid and we will show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Now, for anybody that's out there wondering what, you know, a hot chocolate bomb is, pretty much after these molds harden or whatever, you gotta put the stuff that we have got on the inside of them. So whenever we drop it into the hot milk or water, whatever the case may be, it'll just melt and everything will come out of it. And you pretty much got a cup of hot chocolate. Like a bath bomb. Yeah, it's kind of like a bath bomb, but just with hot chocolate and milk. It's just delicious. So this is, this is, this is kind of fun. Working on that last uh, mold, she's trying to. Yeah, three, more. Yeah, three more molds to go here. So, um, just sit tight. Okay, so she's finishing putting the chocolate in the last mold right now. Before we go any further, everybody go to www.crazycups.com and go get some of their. Whatever, whether it's, you know, hot chocolate bombs or some of their coffee, you guys have absolutely got to try one, if not both of them. Go and get some of their coffee right now or get some of their hot chocolate bomb kits. Just even for the fun or if it's just if you like hot chocolate or if you just love coffee, just go and do it. All right, so all the chocolate is molded right now. Well, in the molds. And we had to put it in the refrigerator for five minutes for it to harden. So um, we'll see you guys then. All right, so we went ahead and let those settle for about 30 minutes. I thought it was supposed to be five, but my wife's like, oh no, it's supposed to be 30. So we went ahead and did that. These but, molds are very, like you have to be careful because they're very delicate. And if you don't go slow, like the paper says, they will crack. They will, guys. So, we did lose one, but it's okay. We lost one mold, guys. We lost the chocolate bomb, but it's okay because I'm going to eat these regardless. No, right this second. Put them by All right, well, I'll eat them here in a minute. But, um. Okay, so the next step is adding our hot cocoa. So all the stuff in it. So we got to add everything into these chocolate bombs. We got to melt the drizzle. And don't overfill it. Do not overfill it. So remember that. Be careful. Be cautious when you're doing these, guys. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to have my wife bring everything up to the camera so I can put it into the bombs and you can well, see it all. Because we will we'll put it up there after we put what we want in our own box. Yeah, okay. Well, we can do that too. So we'll be right back after we put everything into our bombs. All right, here they are. got like six marshmallows in each one my wife went ahead and just put the um, little sprinkles in hers like the um, rainbow sprinkles she didn't put confetti in hers like party uh party confetti but I did I did the uh, rainbow sprinkles party confetti and the marshmallows I just got to remember which one is which whenever we seal them so that's that guys all right so now that we got our hot chocolate bomb sealed, we're going to go ahead and melt some pink chocolate drizzle, which is like pink chocolate chips, in the microwave. And then we're going to drizzle it over our hot chocolate bombs. And then finally, we get to put them in some hot milk because me and my wife use milk whenever we drink hot chocolate. So let's get her done. Okay, so we are at the last part of this process, which is nice. you go ahead and just drizzle the pink chocolate on top of your bombs. Then we're going to go ahead 
put them in some hot milk, and then give you guys a review that way. I don't know how you want this on here because it's not. Hey, think about it, guys. It's a D DIY. It's a do it yourself. So please try to understand that. It's our first time doing this. So <laughs> this is what it looks like afterwards, guys. Like I said, this is our first time doing this. Not to mention so, we didn't um, have all the tools. Yeah, so we didn't really have all the tools that we had, but we got it done. Even if you don't have all the tools at home, that should tell you that yeah. you can still do this. Yeah, you can absolutely <laughs> still do this. You need have. Exactly. But hey, we did it. They may not look perfect, but we did it, guys. So let's go ahead and drop these in some hot milk. I got it in the microwave right now. So let's go. All right, since my wife, you know, brought up the idea, I went ahead and put some sprinkles on top of mine. We're still waiting for this milk to get hot. So. Alright, so here we go. I got I got our business cup here. So go check out Vans on Facebook too while you guys are watching this video. Vans Crafts or Vans 2020 on Facebook. Let's go. Go ahead. You can drop you yours in. Grab yours too. Go ahead and drop yours. It's fine. We needed to do it together. There's one. Hopefully my milk's hot enough it is. Alright. While she's waiting on that. To do what it does. There it goes. There it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and do mine. Got to give it a second. Hers is almost done already. And there goes mine. Alrighty. There it goes. Boom. Yep. Now we just got to wait for them to fully melt. We're going to stir it. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and stir it, but there that is. DIY chocolate bombs from Crazy Cups, man. Go ahead and stir them. Little stir sticks here. Sorry guys, my wife's got the trick. You know, I'm just I'm recording with one hand and so I mean we I'm got some on the microwave one, too. It's fine, we're just making a little mess here. It's fine. So I like more marshmallows than that. So, yeah, I only put in what I thought would fit. Ooh, you know what? But there they go, ma'am. I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera around. We're going to taste this stuff, guys. Oh, she's going to gonna go ahead and put some whipped cream on hers. No, thank you. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just drink mine the way it is. But, guys, if you want whipped cream, put whipped cream on it. All right. So here we are guys, Crazy Cups. This is the hot chocolate bomb DIY, do it yourself. We're gonna go ahead and check and we can chase it. We're gonna go ahead and taste it now. <laughs> mm. Oh wow. Guys, you don't need to add no sugar to this. Oh, that's delicious, dude. What do you think? You like it? Mm -hmm. I, I I love this. You just turn green. It's uh turning a lot of colors because of the sprinkles, but um the chocolate is not like a subtle chocolate taste. You could definitely taste the chocolate in this, guys, and I love that. It's not like other name brand you know chocolates where it's like oh you can barely taste the chocolate. No, depending on how much chocolate you put in this, you're definitely gonna taste it. So um. This is really, really good. Shout out to Crazy Cups one more time for the chocolate bomb. The whole maker, the kit, all that. Shout out to you guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this a night. Like I said, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Keep it fresh.